Hi everyone, it's Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art, and today I'm going to show you how I use one stencil to make really fun, fabulous, bright colored prints. Um, today's stencil that I am using is from Darcy Standard, Darcy Sanders, excuse me, um, from Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media on YouTube. She designed this particular one and many others. If you go over to pmartiststudio.com, you can see her designs and many many other designs by PM Artist and um, other designers including Carrie the Crafter, um, Rhonda Dona, Fran Baker, all kinds of wonderful designs um, and you can easily find them on the new website and again that's pmartist.com. Now when you go there you can also save 10% using my name. Type in Eddie Fan one zero at the end of your purchase and you save 10% off. So what I'm doing now is just creating um, a couple of backgrounds um, using some um, combination of paints. This first combination is from Liquitex, um, the Basics Acrylic Collection. Um, there's a bright aqua green, lime, lime green, and cadmium yellow deep. And you see, I don't mix it completely. I want, I want it to look like this. I want it to look more modeled than um, one solid color. And here again, I'm using the bright aqua green. And uh, there's one more color I'm gonna use, and I believe it's parchment. I could be wrong. Nope, that's actually bright blue, uh, another Liquitex color. Sorry, I've done a few of these videos in the past couple of days, and I'm a little bit confused sometimes. <laughs> now you notice there's still some green on the brayer from the last background. That's perfectly fine. It goes well with the blue, so don't worry about that. And yes, I'm using book page to, um, to clean my brayer off, which I then will save and use um, for all sorts of stuff. I call them painty pages. If you're curious as to the tool that I'm using here, it's a wood baron that um, was made, uh, handmade actually, by um, artist Anthony Cody at Cody Crafts in, um, or Cody Woodcrafts, I believe, over on Etsy. I will link his information below. Um, and my particular baron was made out of, I believe, a hard maple wood. Um, and it's got a beautiful inlay of abalone and azure. I hope I got that right. Anyway, um, the video is, is mainly, it's all a lot of quick pulls. Nothing sits on the plate for a long time. I pretty much did this video all in one go. And here is, um, it's a, it's a um, primary blue from Liquitex with some a color flash or actually that's a color shift in the blue i think it's called blue flash and again just mixing it up a little bit and um what the color shift does is it adds a little bit of um shine to your mix and um the color shifts the paints by folk art they depending on the color they shift to different things so for example the blue shifts to gold I believe um, now I'm gonna use the raspberry later or the rose I'm sorry is it pink flash yeah pink flash I call it raspberry but it's pink flash and that um, shifts to purple so you get some cool combinations using um, the color shift paints mixed in with your regular acrylics so this stencil is called Forest on the Floor, or Forest Floor, by Darcy Sanders. And um, so here I did a quick pull on the um, bluish print, the bluish background. And all I did was I laid the stencil down over the paint. And then through the stencil, I pulled up the paint onto the paper. Um, and what I have left here is going to go on another background. So as I go through the video, I'm just going back and forth between backgrounds. 
um, adding more and more layers um, and some I, I pull through the stencil, some I pull after I pull off the stencil. Um, and it's basically um, just a really easy way and fun way to create some, you know, cool, dynamic, um, exciting prints. Here I'm using uh, Liquitex Basics, um, actually Liqu Liquitex Soft Body Fluid Acrylics, and they are quick to dry. Um, so I make sure that I use um, enough to cover the plate um, and work quickly, because like I said, they do dry um, rather uh, quickly, which can be a good thing sometimes, you know, depending on what you're doing. Just placing the stencil down and then I'm taking one of my backgrounds and laying it over the stencil and as I rub on the, the paper it pulls up all the paint that is showing through the stencil. Anything left behind will be on the plate after I pull up the stencil and then I'll place that onto another background. And I mix and match, you know, um, one background will get um, the the print on the plate and then the other one and then I'll also do the, the, the pull through do the stencil and so it's just fun just mixing and matching and um, putting together colors that don't um, always work but here they do I'm going to use the rose pink from Liquitex and here's where I use the um, pink uh, color shift paint. If I can get the paint out of the tube we can get this going. That means I'm running out <laughs> and I'm trying to be very mindful of how much paint I put on the plate because I, I tend to be heavy-handed with the paint. Sometimes that's not always a good thing. It's the color shift that I'm adding in and um, I mix it a little bit just to you know avoid splotchiness because when you mix this uh, the color shift with a regular acrylic if you don't smoosh it up all together you're gonna have clear patches throughout on the plate so you can mix it on another palette and then add it to your plate like some people do um, I don't mind just mixing it right on the plate Sorry, my hand there, I was testing the lighting because the light outside kind of shifted. And I was like, hmm, is this still bright enough? This is one of my favorite prints from uh, the session. This one is very um, Miami Vice with the, like a coral color and um, the blues and the teals, very fun. A little bit of green too in there. Now what's left on the plate is the, what was underneath the stencil and that I'm gonna transfer on to this one. Now I know I've already done that with this one, um, but watch out for the effect that it creates when you put the same kind of print on, but I flipped the plate around so that the prints don't match exactly. So there's variance, um, but it creates a really cool effect. Sorry, I'm not professionally trained, so I don't know all the correct terms, but you smell what I'm stepping in, right? This is another wowza. Look at that, so cool. 
And there's only three layers on it, but it looks like it's, it's very intricate. It looks even better in person and close up. Um, at the end of the video, you'll see close ups of all the prints. And this is again the Liquitex um, soft body acrylic, and this is the um, Thalo Green, excuse me, um, and it is a transparent paint. This one's going to be really interesting too because it's kind of a bright print and then I'm adding this dark green over it. Even though it is transparent, um, it makes it really, really pop. It's great, isn't it? I love this one. I mean, I like them all, but yeah, I love them all. While I um, get ready to put this um, print on another background, I am um, going to let you know that if you are not um, signed up uh, or subscribed to PM Artist Studio's YouTube account, you're missing out. You're missing out a lot. There's, uh, they do four live streams a week, and that is uh, Sunday and Mondays at 11 a.m. They do Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. And if you're watching this video when it comes out, it's Thursday and today at 4 p.m. there's gonna be another live stream. And on Thursdays, we do Thursday Thoughts um, and uh, other arty things. Definitely um, a great fun place to be. Um, and the chat, I'll just say it's, hmm, it's fun, unique, informative, hilarious at times. Um, but overall, it's, it's a really amazing group of people that get together four times a week. Um, we discuss art, we discuss technique, um, and all other sorts of stuff. And, and there's a lot of knowledgeable people that are part of the group too. So, um, you know, definitely check them out and they're almost at their 7,000th subscriber. And once they reach the 7,000th, they're gonna have a huge giveaway. And I mean huge. It's, it's a, lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, Mariah and Patricia, who are the P&M and the PM Artist Studio, um, are both quite generous and um, wonderful with their time. Um, so I would definitely encourage you to go over there. Another um, place you wanna go to is uh, to their Facebook group, Makers. Um, and that is also linked below in the description box and there we share our art with each other and then we also um, have different prompts and, and sort of challenges um, every month including uh, there's a collage prompt that I do there is a uh, swap every month and it has different themes we have a creative collaboration where um, there's a specific theme for the month and um, the YouTubers get together and each create a piece of art based on the theme and then we showcase it um, in the middle of the month on uh, YouTube in what's called a video hop. So um, it's, a, it's a free group. It's a private group. You just got to answer a couple questions to get in, but it's definitely worth it. I'd say go over and check us out. You can see a lot more of my artwork over there. For this print, I used a, um, a blank piece of paper because I don't remember the exact reason, but whatever, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna create another fun print using that. And with this yellow, I'm gonna add that to the green just to brighten it up a little bit. And what I'm doing here is I'm just flipping the plate over and lining it up as best I can with the print. Um, and what, I, what my plate is on is plexiglass. And um, mine I ordered from Amazon, but you can also go to your local hardware store and have them cut a piece for you um, in whatever size you need. The 
this next layer, I'm going to use uh, Cornacridone Magenta from Liquitex Basics and a little bit of the um, color shift in pink as well. Look at how this red, the Quinacridone Magenta, really made this print pop. It's very, very cool. Again, stay till the end. Um, you'll see close-ups of all the prints I did for this session. So to add more to that um, tropical vibe that's going on with my prints, I'm using this um, vivid red orange from Liquitex. And it's also, um, it's a semi-transparent paint, which is um, really um, good for this layering type of technique. I also added some of the golden fluid acrylic uh, interference green orange. Um, and it's just, it makes it just, gives it just a little bit of that shimmer um, just enough of the shimmer to um, make it uh, look really cool. Now I'm going to add a little bit more sparkle to my prints using uh, Lucas Krill Studios Gold Paint. It's number 4612 and it's a, a transparent uh, gold. But it's, a, it's just it's a really, really good paint. I do have enough paint on here where I'm going to be able to do um, two prints over the stencil. Um, first is this one that um, I started um, later on that's got the yellow and the red and the pink or the orange and the pink um, and with the gold it just adds a really really another cool dimension to it and I'm going to pick up some more of the gold here with this other print. Mm -hmm. 
final print is going to be on the green one that I put the uh, phthalo green over. last pull for the video and uh, I want to thank you for joining me today I hope you've learned something today I hope you had some fun thank you so much and I will see you in the next video